Stonewall Speakers is a group of speakers that speaks throughout Connecticut, and we speak at universities, we speak at schools, we speak to businesses, particularly med people in the medical uh, profession that want to hear about our story. And it was started because a gentleman in Connecticut was murdered many years ago. And it was about the same time that the Stonewall Re uh, Rebellion took place in New York City at the Stonewall Inn. That's basically why we came, we came up with this name. But the bottom line is the gentleman, the, the judge that was hearing that case realized that it wasn't just the two boys that murdered this man because he was gay. Everybody that was related to them, all the people that were involved with this, they did it because of hate. They did it because they didn't understand what this person was about. And what we try and do with Stonewall Speakers is explain to people, we're just us. We just need to be who we are. And you need to understand how we come to this point in our life. One of the things that people on the right or the far right or the conservatives try to say is that you're, you're choosing to do this. Who in their right mind is going to choose something where they're gonna be degraded, ostracized, ridiculed, isolated, and shunned. That's the reality of the life that you're gonna live. Maybe not necessarily, <clears throat> to some extent as a, as a LGBTQ person, but when you get to the end and you talk about the transgender person, it's even more so. Why is that? It's because we actually put a face to the LGBTQ community. And the people on the far right have taken that to use against us and to use against the entire grouping to be able to say, these are bad people. <laughs> one, of the other, one of the other things that they will say is that they don't want us involved with young children. When the reality is, is that when I was 10 years old, I realized that I was different than all the other boys. I went through life because many people didn't talk about this or even think about this at that time. For many years, dealing with what I had inside of me and dealing with it in different ways. But when I finally, <clears throat> finally came to the realization that this was something that was innate to me, and that's really what everybody in the LGBTQ community comes to the realization. It's something that's inside of them. It's not a choice. It's something that they feel inside that they have to let out. And it, it's not that they're making a choice as much as it is they're making a choice to tell everybody else who they are. I digressed a bit there. The, the concept of being too young, when you get into the idea of being transgender, is that we realize this at an early age, and it's just something that we grapple with. But when you get to the age of puberty, that's where people like us get to a point where we have to make a change or we can make a change. And what you do at that point, you, 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 you'll, you'll start taking hormones to either be more one way or the other, okay? If you don't do that, then things happen in your life 
that you then have to change, such as growing a beard. <laughs> and it may sound simple, but the reality is, is that if you're able to have a child that knows and has this innate inside of them, you help them to feel understood and wanted and accepted, but you also can help them in that process. And that's one of the things, you know, we've talked a lot about Florida and DeSantis and what's going on in the country. Part of what's going on in the country is, in some states, it's actually, you could be arrested for dressing like this. You could be arrested for trying to help a child who is going through this and you want to help them delay what might happen to them at puberty. Anyone that's going through this, well, anybody that's going through the LGBT spectrum has a high rate of suicide because they basically feel the world would be better off without them. That there's so much hatred for people like them that it might be easier to not be alive. Okay? When someone, an adult, can accept them and show them that acceptance, it cuts the suicide rate in half. Transgender people, for argument's sake, if, if it's 20% of the LGBTQ community, it's 40% for the transgender community. And once again, for them and for all of them, if somebody who is an adult that accepts them for who they are, that cuts that in half. But part of the reality for us right now, again, is that we have become, and part of the reason that the whole LGBTQ community is being targeted right now is because of the fa fact that the transgender people put a face to it. I don't want to I don't wanna make anybody un, 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 uneasy, but the reality is, if someone in this room is transgender, you pretty much know who they are. If I came out again, if I came out as, 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 as gay, I'd still be Uncle Mike. But when I came out as transgender, I asked somebody to give me a different name as Michelle. That makes some people upset because they don't want to have to deal with that. But it's also how and why we have become targeted as a group because we're pushing the envelope a little bit more. One of the things you know, we've talked about here is what can you do? Before I was out, when people would talk to me, if I was in a group of people and they didn't, had no idea who I was, my orientation, they'd be talking about people like Caitlyn Jenner and you know, what's wrong with her and how, why is she doing what she's doing? What, you know? And I think you know, we're, we're all who we were born as. And I said, I would say to them, do you really think that it's that easy? And I'd come up with that same analogy of to be degraded, ostracized, ridiculed, and shunned. Who's gonna decide to do that, choose to do that? It's not because they're choosing it. But that's what helps us, or I shouldn't say helps other people put a face to the LGBT community But if, as an ally, 
If you're in a group and somebody says something like that to you, you can open your mouth and say, do you really think somebody like that is doing it because they want to? No, they're doing it because it's innate to them. And the one way that you can, or anybody can assist us is as being an ally to the group. Thank you.